Hi guys, it's Rudy Warm. Welcome back to my channel. So we're going to be doing a grocery haul today. I'm going to be doing a meal plan. I'm going to talk you through how I'm meal planning, what we're going to have this week, give you some ideas, hopefully. And we're going to try and do it on a budget because, you know, I'm all about that budget best life. I'm going to be doing a Think Aldi. I haven't done an Aldi grocery haul and meal plan for the longest time. And there's videos here on my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lara, by the way. And if you haven't seen, I've done videos where I feed. There's four of us in my family. I've got two little boys, seven and nine, no, seven and five. Oh my gosh. Uh, I feel like we've lost so much time and like concept of time during the last year and a bit. And we're showing you what we're gonna be eating. Uh, they don't, they're not fussy as such, but they don't really enjoy like very different food. I think they're kind of basic with the food. I'm gonna try and pop you on this really professional um, water glass. You're on a glass of water. So if you missed it, I've done quite a few, probably like, 50, 60 meal planning videos, uh, feed, your budget, feed your budget on a family, feed your family on a budget videos. One of my videos was feeding our whole family for £12.50 each a week and that was literally breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, everything. Uh, I won't be doing it to that detail this time because um, it does take a lot of planning but it can be done and I've done it after the lockdown situation as well. So I've done it pre and after and yes, the food has gone up a lot. But uh, yeah, you can do it. It just does take a lot of planning. We're not gonna be doing it today because honestly, when you see the fridge, you will realize there is no food in this house. We haven't been for like two weeks, I think. We're just trying to really not go out too much uh, still. So I'll talk you through some of the meals that we're gonna have um, and how I plan as well. So hope you enjoy the video, guys. Grab yourself a cuppa because yeah, it's gonna be quite chatty and quite just, you know, just to get you guys inspired and hopefully you can pitch yourself doing this as well and maybe you can plan along with me. There are lots of planners coming soon to my website, which is Lara Joanna Jarvis. I've done some planners already over there, so check them out. But yeah, there'll be some meal planning documents and things like that as well. But let me know if you want any other particular planning documents. Show you how bare the cupboards are. But also the reason this isn't gonna be like really, really budget and you can cater this to you guys because you might not need to buy so much food. Uh, and obviously the meal plans will give you an idea of, you know, a lower value shop. But we need washing powder, toilet roll, <laughs> kitchen roll, like all the expensive stuff. So you know, like dishwasher tablets, all that stuff as well. So it's not gonna be really, really cheap, but there are videos here if you want to challenge yourself to feed your family for 40 pounds a week or less. Obviously, if you're single or, you know, with a partner, you could easily do it for 20 pounds a week, definitely easily. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it, shall we? And stop babbling along. <laughs> I told you it'd be chatty. Of course, if you don't have these recipe cards, you can go through recipe book or online or just look through my old videos. There's loads of recipes out there and they're free. Uh, so yeah, don't go spending loads of money on doing it. And obviously this is a treat when you get this, when we get this, we love getting a box and it like when we don't do it like all the time, but when we do, I'm like, yes, so pleased. That's the same with anything. I think if you have it all the time, it loses its excitement. <laughs> Maybe I just need to get a life. Um, but yeah, what about you guys? What do you do? Do you ever get these boxes? Uh, HelloFresh as well, do them. Mindful Chef as well are really good for veggie ones. I actually used cashback on that and I got 13 pound cashback and it was only about 30 pounds. So I got a week of meals for like 23, 27 pounds, which I thought was good for four people. I've chosen the menu, uh, like for the mains. So I will just do a really quick shot here so you can screenshot it if you want to make them so you know what is in them. Some of these we have like every week because they're so easy to make now. So we've got everything in the cupboards. If not, then we can just always buy, you know, some rice wine every few months, you know, so that we've always got it in the cupboard because we're always using it. So Stuart really wants a roast dinner this weekend. The joys of homeschooling, I had a ruler on hand then. Uh, yeah, so he really wants a roast dinner because the weather's getting a bit warmer and I don't know about you guys, but we don't tend to have them in the summer. In the UK, we have cold winters so we like having cozy Sundays here I mean every day is a cozy day because we don't leave but uh, yeah it's just nice to have like that time together on a Sunday around the table it's our favorite day well actually I say that Saturday is becoming my favorite day so I'm doing like my cozy vlogs every Saturday and I feel like 
it makes me have a bit of time to myself because I'm filming it and sharing with you guys and I just anyway basically I love the weekend so uh, I'm just going to draw out really simple plan for my uh, meal plan and then I'm going to write what meals we'll have and then once I've done that is this a coincidence? A ruler is the same size, same length as a piece of paper. Which came first? I'll leave that one with you. So yeah, I'm just gonna draw out my meal plan and then I'll share it with you. And then we will go, I'm not gonna film there, I'll film once it's back. I'm not actually going, Stuart's going. So I have to give him strict instructions not to stray from the list. He's really good at shopping. He's He does it like way more than me, but um, I just get distracted with other things. There's my lunch. Stu, George's got a call starting. <laughs> this guy's just come down from his meeting and he, we're walking around the store, so we're writing it in order. Oh, can you see? So far, so far, so good. In my mind's eye. You're talking well, wine now. We're saying, we're saying, shall we drink this weekend? I didn't go there first, by the way. I arrived there. <laughs> it wasn't my first port call. Shall we drink this weekend? Is a question. Oh, I'm definitely drinking this weekend. I'm afraid it's been that kind of week. Yeah, it's been quite a stressful week again. I feel like we're saying that a lot, but we're trying to drink not as much, just like one night a week, rather than like two nights at the weekend, and then. If we do drink another night, like just a glass of wine, just to try and yeah, not drink too much. But yeah, let, what do you guys do? Do you do you drink every night? Do you drink at the weekends? We don't. We don't I feel like it's something it, to look forward to, drink, isn't it? We don't drink in the week. No, we don't ever drink in the week. Like Unless once it's a week. Christmas. Yeah. Used to though before I met you. Well, I was I young, wild, and free. Well, that's what it is. Me. You don't need that in your life anymore. You get so much fun from me. <laughs> Yeah, it feels like it's like a celebration that you got through the week, through homeschooling and through work. <laughs> it's like, yes. like yeah, I'm trying not to drink as much as I get older. Good for the waistline, isn't it? So the menu plan is done. I'll show you that first, actually. So Sunday, we're going to have roast dinner with all the trimmings, the usual. We love a Sunday roast. And then Monday is always leftovers, so that means no cooking and saves money, which is great. Uh, Tuesday, we're going to have chicken and potato sprouts with peppers. Really, really easy to do with just literally, you need peppers, potatoes and chicken and then like herbs and spices. Wednesday to break up the mm, chicken, we're going to have the bacon and butternut squash risotto. Really easy to make and I've put rice on there but we may actually have enough risotto rice left over. Butternut squash you could make uh, sweet potatoes which makes sense because we've got sweet potato here and I might do some there as well. So it depends really what we have. If I have a dish with sweet potato I'll try and do two meals with that so that we can use a whole lot. Uh, so Thursday, chicken yakitori with sweet potatoes, the one that I showed you. We need cucumber, ginger we've got in the freezer, again sweet potatoes and spring onions. And the cucumber will uh, go over for the children's like, when they have like pizza crudite. Uh, so that'll always be used in more than one thing. Friday is gonna be chicken burgers with, so we're gonna have chia batters, I can't have that so I'll just have it on its own. Little gem, tomatoes, and the boys will have pizza, cause it's Friday pizza day. And then, I wrote it in the wrong bit, Saturday will be chicken parmesan, which is just spaghetti, uh, chicken, breaded chicken from the freezer. I'm going to have to have it without bread because I'm trying to not have the gluten at the moment. So that would just be a chicken breast. And then that will be pasta and a tomato based sauce with cheese on the top. That's our like Saturday night treat. And then Sunday roast dinner. Oh, we're back to Sunday, <laughs> yeah. So it depends obviously what day you're starting this. And then this is the list of what we are going to buy. Stuart's going to go a bit later on tonight and then I'll show you what we've got and how much we spent. So here we have, as you can see, I've got some scraps of veggies in here. Um, I tend to keep avocados for ages because they just don't get soft for ages unless you buy the expensive ones, which I don't. Uh, and a red pepper, a little bit of citrus in there. Stu, for some reason, bought these seven ups the other day. I don't know why, but um, we never have fizzy drinks. But yeah, they're in there. And then this is uh, from Aldi. They're really good. They last for ages, so I keep them in there if I don't have anything that I can eat for lunch. And they're so tasty. So, apart from that, <laughs> uh, there's like a teeniest amount of ham left. Uh, oat milk and then condiments. We won't go near there because that's my like um, 
all my bits and bobs that I use so it still gets annoyed that they take up so much space I can understand um, some coffees some mayonnaise these are left over from when we have gusto boxes and they last years don't they 2021 oh that's this year um, some chocolate some cheese milk for the boys juice and more condiments um, so yeah this is what we're dealing with and I feel like I should do that <laughs> and then fill it up but there's gonna be a bit in between <laughs> No fancy island in the middle of the kitchen here, I'm afraid, guys. <laughs> so I mean, we're on the floor because there's only space big enough. So this is all the veggies and fruit. as actually some more fruit up there. It's some baby spinach and some. Oh, I you got iceberg. What? That's actually fine because I'm gonna make some chicken lettuce oh, I have cups. No idea how I picked that. Up. <laughs> that was gonna be one of those. That's fine though, baby. Because yeah, we can make the. That's fine. We've got those and then these. These are great for like putting chopped up chicken and um, avocado in, and it's a really nice tasty carb free snack. Uh, we've got some broccoli, three pack of peppers, two more, oh they feel really soft, two more ripe and ready avocados. We've got some sweet potatoes, some carrots, some big potatoes for, that's about maybe for three different, four different meals. Loads of these things will go for more than like that, so like three meals, three or four, yeah so they will go for quite a few. Um, some lemons and some salad onions, spring onions, uh, some olives, oh more broccoli, that's good because we will go through that, cucumber, cucumber and tomatoes for the children. So we've got two lots of bacon for uh, the risotto and for the pigs and blankets and maybe some other bits and bobs this week, maybe some bacon sarnies at the weekend, uh, a quiche for the children, sometimes I have that for lunch, a big pack of chicken, I think there's six in there, five or six, that'll do quite a few meals. Uh, we've got breaded cod, which Stu just has. Actually, that's probably really noisy. You can hear it going. He's just got some going in the air fryer now. Just for a quick and easy dinner. Uh, some of these for the children. For dinners. And for the freezer. They just get frozen. The fingers, a staple. <laughs> I don't know if you uh, find your children eat these a lot at the moment. Uh, we've got some frozen parsnips because these are honeyed and they're really, really good. They do taste really good. Um, and then the same cauliflower cheese. That's for Sunday roast dinner and then this is the chicken that we've got for that and that will actually do us through for two lots like two days so four meals for two days and this actually is a joke box for the children to get in a bit of a I don't know a bit of a sump at the moment with what to give the children so we're going to try them on that I know obviously you can make that so much easy but it's just for those days we've only got like five minutes and you just need to knock something out quickly so don't judge we don't usually buy that sort of thing and then we've got some chipolatas some honey roast ham which I love with just avocado or some cucumber as a snack and their sandwiches at lunchtime and then one pizza whoa pizza Fridays and then another piece of pizza Fridays Stu's got himself some beer which I've just knocked over <laughs> and then these are those things I told you about they're so tasty I've got two of those just for lunches when I don't have time to make anything quick and easy and some cheese as well Sorry, as I said, it's really noisy with this going on. Hopefully you can hear me okay. So, Stu's come back with these, which I frowned at because I would usually make them. But the other day I said I couldn't bother to make them and so he was gutted. So I think he's bought these so that he doesn't, so they can just be done really quickly. The children will love those as well with some raspberries. Uh, so we've got wraps, which we have. <laughs> wraps for the children, they love these. Like if they're hungry so after they dinner, they have these. And also they're really good to make like fajitas for the children with some breaded chicken in, some um, like peppers and tomatoes. These are for a side, the children love these, they're just like the Domino's ones. Two of those for us all. Uh, some bread, two lots of bread, one for them, one for us. Some sourdough rolls for the chicken burgers. And some bagels on Henry's request, I love bagels so much and some sausage rolls as well for the children just to like snack on. Better get this away because it's uh, dairy. So we've got, she's got some of these yogurts. We've run out of our um, Arla ones that we've been having. Uh, orange juice, apple mango for Henry, blue milk for them both. And then just a couple of juices for them. Sweet. George loves orange, whereas Henry likes something different each time. Uh, we've got some eggs and their choice crisp for the week is uh, quavers, kind of. And we've got tonic waters 
for gin and tonic at the weekend. And Stu got me this Semi Blanc, my favourite kind of grape. I haven't tried that one before though, it looks good. And he got their cab stuff. And then so three of these. They don't, this is actually okay. This is the Aldi Oatly Oat Milk. It's actually okay. Well, the only other one better in tea is the Yeah, definitely. And then this, because it's so easy to use, quinoa as well. And then these five bananas, which Stuart loves. Oh, he actually bought this for his friend as well because they've just moved into their new house. Got some white wine vinegar. This mixed in with mayonnaise and a little bit of garlic makes such a nice dressing. So try that if you haven't before. And then look at this pile of snacks as well. <laughs> Tell the children are home at the moment. Uh, so honey for some of the recipes that we're doing. I'm gonna put this over, well, over sweet potato, that makes it really tasty. And some jam. And then just custard creams when the children want a snack. And we just say, just grab a couple of biscuits. Oh, some more cheap rice. I know this is a real cheap, but I feel like the money you're spend or not spending on heating water and the gas and everything, it might work out at the same cost. But I don't know, maybe that's probably not a fact, but it's much easier. Um, and then these fruit pouches, I know I can make them from scratch, but they just love them, always have. Uh, apples as well, more fruit, and these oat cooks, Henry absolutely loves those. He has like five every like couple of days, although I don't want to go straight through him. Uh, what's this? Oh, what a treat. Came up eggs. <laughs> uh, some oranges for their snacks as well, and more fruit pouches. And then onto the treat snacks, we've got ice rings this week. Fruit pass, um, yogurt pouches, uh, cheese strings, which I, if you saw my cozy vlog, um, just it's my, it's my obsession. And then uh, groovy bars, I really like those. Some baked cross slices this week, nice. And then rice cakes, George, because he really likes those. So guys, I didn't finish the video last night because it was so dark and so late. Um, I stood here next to my meal plan. The shopping did come way more expensive than I've done in the past. Like I said, this wasn't gonna be a budget one. But I do think, because we are doing four people for every single meal of the day at the moment, obviously the children are at school, Stu's home, we're eating a lot more, and there were some goodies in there, like some wine and some bits and bobs. So we spent 108 pounds, which I know if you're like a really keen budgeter, that would be a lot. And I know I've done it for much cheaper in the past, but I just think at the moment, you know, we're not doing anything. So little luxuries here and there don't harm when you aren't trying to be too strict on your budget. But hopefully it's given you some ideas for what to cook, what to have for your dinners. And yes, let me know if you want more videos like this and maybe I can challenge us to do another feed your family for 50 pounds a week video if you want that. Obviously if you're a couple or single, then this is gonna be a lot less, but we got a lot of food in fact. Did I show you? So much food in there. It's packed and lots of stuff for the freezer as well. Loads of meals and I think it's key, like if you're buying chicken, then do chicken meals so you can buy a bigger pack, save money. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed the video guys. Do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye. <laughs>